Hi Gemini and welcome to your tarot love readings. The reading here is going to center on what should your next move be so I hope the messages here are going to be helpful for you um, in some way shape or form in moving forward. The reading here is intended for Gemini Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching. Let's give the cards a shuffle and see what messages they have for you here. So what should your next move be here? What is the tarot advising you of? Okay, we have the moon card here, the high priestess, the knight of wands, and the two of cups. Okay, Jimmy's. Just gonna move this into frame, that's better. I feel like the moon card and both the high priestess here are illustrating a very strong point for you Gemini and what I'm getting for you is that not everything can possibly be known about the outcome of the situation here. I feel like you cannot possibly know everything um, about your romantic situation at this particular point in time. I feel like there's a lot that is um, up in the air, there's a lot of haziness, there's a lot of fogginess here. Um, there's also some sort of shadows here that are being created with the moon's energy that I feel like also in turn creating some sort of thick illusions here. Um, I am seeing that a lot of you here need to dive into the moon's healing here and allow, um, allow for that embrace as well. Trust that you will be okay. For a lot of you, I know you're probably feeling... You're probably drowning in the depths of the unknown here, right? You're probably feeling a lot of uncertainty here, a lot of not knowing what it is that you should be doing or you shouldn't be doing, not necessarily knowing what right words to say here. Um, a lot of you, I feel like, need to uh, experience some sort of deep sense of release, is what the moon card is telling you. Experience a deep sense of release here, which I feel like will allow some sort of truth to float to the surface. And in turn, I feel like... The moon's um, light here will illuminate what it is that you should do here with regards to this romantic energy here that we're picking up for you. Um, also listen to the whispers of your own intuition here, Gemini, with the moon and the high priestess because um, some of you may be trying to seek advice from close family, friend members, um, and whilst they may have your best interests in the, you know, your best uh, intentions here, at the end of the day, I feel like only you yourself really know the depths of this connection. Or only you yourself really know, um, you know, how deep this, uh, how deep this love or how deep this romantic energy uh, goes here. Um, and the moon card here, I feel like, is advising for you not to not to let your fears, your insecurities here, or any of your anxieties to dictate your actions here. So if you're uncertain about what it is that you should be doing here, Gemini, it's probably a good idea to sit sit this one out. Um, and it's probably a good idea for you not necessarily to make any action until you get more emotional or mental clarity here. Okay. The High Priestess here, again, you know, because she's got this air of mystery here. Again, I'm seeing that there is a... I feel like there's a veil here which clouds the, the, the tarot spread here. And I feel like there's... Anything goes is what, I'm, is what I'm getting. And I'm getting that there is a sense of haziness and a sense of fogginess here. That, um, that is being created here. So the outcome of your situation is currently unknown here. Okay, what your next move should be for a lot of you Geminis, you need to trust that intuition. Okay, because the High Priestess is someone who governs intuition. She's a very strong, powerful feminine energy here. So some of you, I feel like your intuition here is trying to tell you something. And I feel like there's whispers of it here. Some of you are either suppressing it, you're ignoring it, or you haven't necessarily tapped in and tuned into your intuition here trust your intuition it will not steer you in the wrong direction in fact it will put you on the right path 
and it most will and most certainly will tell you where it is that you should go from here or what what it is that you should be doing from here on in so for a lot of you i feel like the high priestess is here to remind you that the answers that you seek are from within you already know the answers they may be buried in the depths of your subconscious here they may be submerged here in your subconscious but you know the answers you know what it is you have to do here gemini all you have to do is sit here sit alone with your thoughts and your feelings and feel them rather than try and intellectualize them or rather than try and you know put um, a title or a label to it feel those emotions here and let them take you places where um that you ought to go here now with the knight of wands here this is a very fast um, energy, a very primal energy. Um, and what I'm seeing is, for a lot of you, things are about to start moving very quickly. Because this card right here marks a time where I feel like there's going to be some sort of shift. It could indicate a shift um, in your reality. It could indicate a shift in your energies here. But I'm seeing that there's a lot of inspiration here. You know the thing that you've been wanting to do, Gemini? the very thing that you've been wanting to do and you've been thinking about it and you've been overthinking it and you've been analyzing it to bits and pieces and you've been over analyzing that thing that you can't stop thinking about yeah you should go ahead and do that is what i'm getting um because i feel like some of you are either wanting to you're wanting to introduce a lot of newness into your life or you're wanting for things to to pick up pace or to gather momentum here the message that um, the Knight of Wands here uh, brings in for you is take action. However, it does advise you against uh, being impulsive, against taking, you know, uh, against uh, like reckless impulsivity or just like any um, heated outbursts here. Um, you don't want to do something you're going to regret later. So if you're going to do it, do it right um, or don't do it at all here. Check in with your heart here, Gemini, as well. Um, I'm, I'm sensing that there is some action here that needs uh, to be taken here. So whether you've been wanting to reach out to your person, whether you've been wanting to communicate them to them, sorry, and let them know what's really, you know, what's really been playing on your mind here or how you've been feeling or whether you've been wanting to um, cut ties here with a certain individual um, what, or you, whether you've been wanting to, you know, uh, make a move. Whatever it is that you've been wanting to do, I feel like you need to check in with your heart and your mind here, Gemini, because that's important. And then you also have the two of cups here. I do feel like there needs to be um, there needs to be some action which needs to be taken here as well. And the two of cups here is strongly advising for a lot of you Gemini's to allow um, yourself to line up with pe with the people, places, and things that are in alignment with your higher self. The Two of Cups here, it whispers of um, romance and love, attraction, bliss, happiness, and the unity here of soulmates, okay? Um, what I'm seeing is that there is there's some sort of magical entanglement that's happening for you here, Gemini, um, but I feel like it's you sort of have to be in the right place and the right time to sort of experience all of that. This is a pairing of perfectly matched souls, which I feel like um, has the potential to to develop into this magical in um, entanglement here I'm also seeing that there is some paths that need to merge here so I feel like for some of you there is something here you either need to unite or there is some some someone's feels like in a romantic energy a very strong water energy someone's path whom I feel like you'll have to ensure that your paths will cross or intersect once again because I feel like there's something here, it feels like the um, the potential of this connection hasn't yet been fully realized is what I'm seeing. So your next, one of your next moves should be is that you should line your, you know, align yourself up here with this person or this place or this thing here. Some of you should um, should also uh, start looking at putting a little bit more energy here into your romantic connections. For those of you that are single, you could start by putting a lot more energy into you know your feelings, your thoughts here, um, because after all, your thoughts are those that create reality. 
Okay guys, and that's all I have for you. Thank you all as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.